morning everybody, if you guys are doing alright, Pedro here and today <laughs> has been quite a long time I haven't made a video but today we are in Sweden, I'm here with Linda and her sister Anna, they're both there in the front and uh, yeah as I said I haven't made a video for a very long time, I hope you guys are doing good especially during these times of Covid that this has been lasting forever but yeah moving forward we are in Sweden I came here on vacation for about 10 days to relax a bit and uh, get to know this place better and uh, yeah now we are in a place called Galasanda and uh, yeah this is a it's a place where people around here they come and they come to the beach to get some sun when there is sun and uh, actually today is a very good day the weather is amazing the sky is clear and uh, I think the water is freezing but uh, let's check it out So I came here a few days ago, it was weekend, uh, it was a few degrees warmer and there was a lot and a lot of people, you almost could barely see the rocks and uh, yeah the water was a bit warmer but today it's freezing and uh, it's just a nice place, you can just come enjoy the sun and uh, yeah this is the kind of beach you can find here. Ah. Alright guys, we are now in a place called Hunaberie and you guys know I love these kinds of places where there's nice paths, a lot of green, a lot of trees, grass and all this kind of green stuff that I usually call it. Uh, yeah, you drop me here, leave me here for a whole day and I just enjoy myself here looking at these amazing views. Okay, so this place as I said called Hunaberie and uh, this one as a place that has a very very nice view over the flatlands and from here you can see um, all the crops that they are doing you can even see a lake and uh, the view is just amazing look at it ah, ah, ah. As you see, uh, the view from this point is amazing. Uh, you can see how flat the land is, and uh, I think this flat land here before was probably a bottom of a sea, uh, having a lake nearby. Maybe thousands and thousands of years ago, the um, the level of the water of the lake was a bit higher, and everything here was covered by water. So, yeah, there's a high chance that. Uh, this place was covered by water and this was the bottom of a, of a sea, of a lake or something. everybody if you guys are doing all right it has been a while I don't say that we are still in Sweden as we are uh, staying close to Grastorp uh, we drove for an hour and a half and we are now in a place called Smögen this is uh, more to the west coast of Sweden it's a very nice place today the weather is amazing we're lucky again and uh, yeah it's just a beautiful town I don't know if I can call it a town or a city or 
I don't know, it's just bigger than we've seen usually. It's not as big as the capital, but it's a, a small town, looks like a fishing village and uh, it's just beautiful. It's very famous for the colorful houses and uh, yeah, we're just staying here for about an hour and a half, walk around a bit, see what, uh, how this city looks like, how this town looks like and uh, then we'll continue our trip. I said before we are in Smuggen and I'm actually on a jumping board because you don't actually have a beach with sand like those typical beaches we usually see uh, most of the places here they just lay on rocks as you see down here and uh, they have these jumping boards and they just jump in the water let me tell you the water is pretty cold but yeah if you have nothing else that's what you do <laughs> Alright, we drove a little bit more. We are in a place now called Marstrand and uh, it's kind of an island. There's, uh, it's separated from the main line just by a little bit of water and uh, it's a very nice island, like it's like a little town and uh, he has a castle in the middle. Can't tell you much about it because I've never been here before. I don't have any internet so I cannot research about it but uh, I just know that it's a nice place to visit so Let's check it out, it's better for me to show you than to tell you about it, alright? Uh, yeah, let's go! highest point here in the island there is a castle quite an old castle it's called Karlstein's Fastening is that right? Yeah. Karlstein's Karlstein Fortress there you go in English all right so from what I've read on that placard there this Karlstein Fortress used to be a prison in the between the 1600s and the 1700s and uh, yeah i guess they used to grab people from around sweden or around this area and they used to just throw them here all right let's explore this one Yeah, this was Pedro in Sweden. I was here on vacation for about 10 days 
I get to see a bit of Sweden and not all of it of course because it's a massive country but you know I managed to see bits here bits there and I think it was enough to see how nice the country is and uh, it leaves me wanting for more so for sure I'll be back here many more times and uh, and that's it I hope you guys have enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe and I need to add this one don't forget to click on the bell button so you get notified every time I make a video and uh, I'll see you guys on my next trip